Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will show you guys how to install the latest version of Zen Enabler on your modded PlayStation 3 and then spoof the 4.83 firmware so you can play your PS3 games online. So the first thing you want to do, if you've had a previous version of this installed, you actually just want to delete it. So press triangle on it, just go down to delete and press X. It will ask you saying, you sure you want to delete this? Just press X on yes. So once it has been removed, we now want to get our PS3's USB and connect it to our PC. Okay guys, so over on your computer, I will leave a link to the latest update in the description. As you can see, it's Zen Enabler version at 6.0.9. So I can't remember what my previous version was, but as we know, this version now has spoofing the 4.83 firmware. So what you guys want to do is just scroll down. Also keep in mind, you can still get banned if you use this. And um, that's why I use PSN patch and PS Ninja on top of this. But anyway, these are all the firmwares it works on. I'm using, um, rebug 4.81.2 dex so this will work on mine but just scroll down and you will find a download link so just pick any one you want these are all mirrors i'm just going to choose the mega one and now you can just click on download and it will begin downloading so only seven megabytes and once it has finished downloading head over to your pc's downloads folder get the zip file and you can just go into it and all we want to take out is the package file right here. So just drag and drop that in your downloads folder. And you can now copy it to your PS3's USB drive. So I'm just going to drag and drop mine across just onto the root. And then I will be able to find it on here, right here. So now I can put my USB back into my PS3 and I will show you guys what to do next. All right guys, so back onto our PlayStation 3. Just make sure that you're not signed into PlayStation Network and then go onto the game section, go up to package manager, make sure you go to install package files. This is where you will select standard if you're using your USB. And now we just need to find it. So here's mine version 6.09, press X and then X again to install it. Now press circle to go back. And now we can find the latest version on our home screen. So we're just going to press X to open it. So now it tells you the improvements and it says um, you can now spoof to version 4.83 online. So we're just going to press X for OK. Now we want to go into Sen slash PSN options and we want to click on this option right here. Then we want to press X on enable Sen access and press X for uh, yes. Then just give it a few seconds to load. Now it's going to reboot your PS3, so just press X for yes. So you shouldn't have to do this every time um, you fully reboot your PlayStation, um, but sometimes it might, you know, uninstall or something like that, but you can just enable it again. So what we want to do to check it's working is go onto the settings, scroll down to the system settings icon, and then we need to scroll all the way down to the end and go on the system information. And as you can see, guys, our system software is now being spoofed to version 4.83 and before it was on 4.81.2 so we can now press circle to go back and just go back again and now we can sign into PlayStation Network now it might give us an error and if it does I'll be showing you how to fix that but let's just try and sign in now and see what happens so yeah we do have an error but don't worry because I'll be showing you how to fix that right now so what you want to do is go into the game section and go down and open up your rebug toolbox. Now once this opens scroll all the way along to the utilities tab and then scroll all the way down and we're looking for the last option which is spoof the IDPS so press X on that and we want to change it to CEX so press X on the CEX one and it's going to say successfully applied the changes so press X for OK now if it comes up with an error um, what you do is you go to um, restart system and then you try again but seeing as it worked first time for me you just want to press um, circle or just hold circle and then press X on quit so now hopefully our error has been fixed and we should now be able to sign in to our PlayStation Network account so let's try it again 
and see what happens this time. Hopefully this time we won't get any kind of errors. And there you go guys, we're now on the account. So now we're on the account and it is working, but guys you can still get banned online, or there is a possibility. So I have actually got PSN patch and PS Ninja, just to make sure that never happens. I've already started these two up. Um, if you guys want videos for these, I'll leave them in the description of this video, and they still work. But now let's just test out a multiplayer game. So let's play some Call of Duty Black Ops. And as you can see, we're now playing a multiplayer game, and it works completely fine. So that is pretty much it for this video. That is how you spoof your PS3 firmware to the latest version and then play games online. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.